Okay. One of my most recent eBay finds was this little pair of uh, chucks, or uh, vices rather. Um, one made in Taiwan, little one that you mount to your, uh, just screw to your bench, jeweler's vice, which I thought was a nice little bonus for the one that I was really after, which was this one, which has rotating jaws. A larger set which is about uh, two and a half inches and a smaller set about one and a half inch um, that you can rotate around. A little anvil surface although I'll, I'll never use that and then you know just a very nice little functional jeweler's vise. Uh, this one's marked as Century although I don't know if that uh, company is still in existence. I don't know where it was made or anything like that. Uh, but it is similar to a lot of other a uh, lot of other vices that are out uh, One thing that you'll notice is it's got two little holes here on the sides and no mounting holes this chuck, uh, This vice used to have a suction chuck uh, That would you would flip a lever and it would suck to whatever base uh, whatever table you had it on now I knew when it was coming that it didn't have that so I was going to have to come up with something, another way of mounting it to my table. Uh, what I am planning to do, um, you know, I could cut a piece of wood, carve it out, uh, taper it to fit this area, uh, make a little notch for this guy, and then set two screws in from the side uh, and call it a day. Although that honestly seems like a lot of work and uh, you know getting it to fit correctly would be very difficult given the way that this is shaped and the tapers and the curves and everything else that's involved. So what I'm actually going to do in here what I'm actually going to do Is I'm going to so I gotta do that. Let's do this. Do this. Get it sitting so that it's on that anvil. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do it this way. I am going to tape off the center hole so that nothing gets down in there. Tape off these exterior holes and tape off the holes through this little flange here that would have been used for the suction mount. Uh, once I get those taped off, everything else looks pretty okay. Um, I'm going to uh, tape those off and I'm actually going to pour this full of Illuminolite. Uh, let the resin cure and it will automatically take the shape of the inside of this base. Then I'll be able to pop it out uh, drill it into my work surface, set this on top of it, and put two screws in from the sides into the Illumilite, and that should give me a very strong hold on my base. So now what you're going to see me do is do this. Mr. Romo is our guide on this field trip. But so as not to attract attention to myself, I'm disguised as a hipster, wearing a dirty gray turtleneck sweater, a purple cardigan, green trousers, I'm speaking into a microphone which is cleverly concealed in a very convincing false beard. The tape recorder is in a large brown paper bag with a grease spot on it. Hey Daddy, oh, how do I look? Oh, the humanity.
first here for a while and then I'll come back and see if I can't pop that out I may have to remove the uh, may have to remove part of the the working components to be able to pop it out but we'll see should shrink slightly and in which case it may just pop out once I apply some pressure around the edges we'll see check back in later so what I decided to do because when I got back this thing has you know, formed in here but it's so tight I don't want to try and budget right now so if it pops loose later I can I can go in from the sides but right now I'm attaching I'm planning the attachment from the base to my bench so what I've done is I've drilled or screwed three screws into the bottom and of course I did of course hit my little flange as I was aiming for to miss it but uh, some pool just move it right over and now we're gonna put it on the bench over here I may polish this down a little bit later uh, get it perfectly even with the base it is slightly raised from the base which is just what you want so let's move it over to the bench and mark the holes let's actually bring these guys along with me There you can see, I'm now going to uh, attach it to my base over there, or my bench. All I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up here, right at the edge. Take my square feet and go around my screw head. That will give me the location for my screws. Back on my bench, bench block with a four hide mallet. <laughs> 